Hi, I'm Solange from Golden Keras, and today I'm going to show you how to make a poppy made of fabric. The advantage of this uh, flower is uh, that it lasts a few years and you can use it on Memorial Day, Anzac Day and Remembrance Day. Now, for the material that you need, uh, you will need any sort of red fabric, um, an old CD, needles and thread, uh, scissors, uh, small safety pins, um, small black buttons, and beads if you like. So let's do one. Using the CD, you trace as many uh, circles as you like on the fabric and then cut it out. And then you get um, a needle and you thread a double uh, yarn on about um, two feet or half a meter on a, and put a knot at the end. Then holding the fabric uh, circle on your left hand, uh, you take the thread and um, start fold the edges uh, as very little, like uh, an eighth of an inch or three millimeters only, and you start slip stitching all around. I have one here in black and white for you to know what I mean. And when you finish, you pull the yarn together to gather the fabric, and you pull as much as you can without breaking the thread. And uh, you finish it up with a couple of knots. And then you just hold the flower in your hand and flatten it as on a perfect circle. So the flower is ready. So to finish it up, you will uh, just stitch or glue a small black button in the middle, or you can actually put a um, stitch or glue a small bead as well. And when you're done, you just um, put a small safety pin at the back to attach it to your lapel. Now, I want you to give you a few tips. Um, the fabric, any fabric is okay, as long as it's red for poppies, but uh, the thinner the fabric, the more delicate is the flower. And I have here three different fabrics to show you, um, very, very different textures. And, um, and the difference is, the one that with the thin material has um, a, the gathering is very small, so you can put a very small bead in the middle. Now, if you have a very thick uh, material, the gathering in the middle, there is, it, it, there is a gap in there. And uh, what you can do is you can either put a large uh, button instead of a small one, or you can put uh, roll up a, a small length of, um, of a ribbon and uh, glue it in the middle. If you like to do those um, flowers and uh, the more you do, the better you get at it, you can do some to embellish your own clothes. Uh, for instance, you can put um, some on t-shirts or a dress just to add a personal touch. That's all for today. Um, I hope you have fun doing it and we we'll see you next time.